Hello, Yay. everybody. Welcome. Ari, welcome back. Thank you. It has been far too long since we've had you on the Adobe Fonts show, and we have reached episode 50. 50. Five zero. That's a big milestone. That is a very big milestone. And we also have, well, a special guest. You probably already know this, but Jake will be joining us a little later. We'll get into that very shortly. But Ari, it's nice to have you back. How was Greece? And uh, a, br a break from being in the spotlight and all of that stuff. You know. oh, yes, you know, being in the spotlight, sometimes it's not as glamorous as it seems, talking about fonts all the time with this great audience. So sometimes you need a little break, a font-free month. And now two. you're replenished and like even more excited about fonts than ever. Oh, yes. Yeah. I just can't wait to sink my teeth into <laughs> some good design. It's super some big families. font families. <laughs> yes. Um, Very exciting. Some other news. I'm streaming still from the Eastern time zone, but I'm actually in Nashville, Tennessee. So recently relocated. So I don't know if Barbara is going to be in the audience today, but if so, Barbara, we are now in the same city. So that's kind of exciting. But, yeah, uh, it's like a new identity. You're no longer Brooklyn Ben. I know, I'm Nashville Ben now. It doesn't know. quite, you need to change your, I don't know, Brooklyn Ben. Yeah. Nashville. BB, nah. Yeah. Doesn't have okay. quite the same ring to it. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get used to it. Um, let us know where you're from. If you're in the chat, I see a lot of people joined us in the chat already. Umacorn, Annika's modding. Thank you so much, Annika. And Camille yeah. and Oliver. Let us know where you're joining us from, Seda. Yes, and we have a poll related to today's topic. Oh, I guess we should do our intros. Um, yeah. Yeah. For those of you that have not joined us before, my name is Ari, and I manage our Adobe Fonts library, which means that I work with our partners who add fonts to our library, and we've been consistently adding fonts since the beginning. Every month we add new fonts. We currently have about 170 partners and the number of fonts is always expanding. And I live in the Bay Area, Castro Valley, California, to be specific. Nice. And Ben? I formerly from Brooklyn, formerly Brooklyn Ben. I am now in Tennessee. But um, I am a content producer for the Adobe Fonts team. So I work on things like the stream and other videos and other things that basically just help you get the most out of fonts and type when you're using Creative Cloud. So that's what I work on most of the time. But I know a lot about our service. So that's one of the reasons I host this stream. Um, and then, yes, if you're new to Adobe Fonts and you have a Creative Cloud subscription, uh, there's really no reason not to try it because you have 20, over 25,000 fonts that come with your Creative Cloud subscription and they can be used for both personal and commercial use. And all you have to do is go to fonts.adobe.com and start clicking add family and then you can use fonts. So it's really pretty straightforward and very, very easy to get started. And if you're not sure which fonts to check out, I would say check out the super families we talk about today because why not? We're going to be going over some really cool fonts that have a wide range of use cases that you can check out. So we'll do, we'll do yeah. that. And if you've never seen our show, the Adobe Fonts show, you can catch us every other week. And we also have our Behance account, behance.net slash Adobe Fonts. You can go on there and look at replays of our previous streams, or you can also catch replays on the Adobe Live channel on YouTube. Indeed. So we're always looking for new topics, too, that you can suggest um, through our Behance. So let us know. Yeah. We have a poll related to today's topic. Are you familiar with super families? One, I have a favorite. Two, maybe, could have, not sure. Uh, three, what's a super family? So let us know in the chat where you're at with the whole super family thing. We're going to kind of go over it uh you know from beginning to end well we're not going to dive too deep because we only have an hour but we'll at least start from the beginning so if you're new no problem but we're going to show you some cool fonts too uh before the end so should be good but let us know where you're at i'm probably at uh i would say i'm between one and two i'm 
I don't know that I have a favorite superfamily, but I'm certainly familiar with them and have used them before. Yes, I, I don't have a favorite of anything. So I think it's number two. <laughs> I'm sure I've used them, but I never have a favorite of anything. No, no favorite. We have a few different answers. Ooh. I can't answer when people say, what's your favorite font? Yeah, it's, it's really hard. And it I changes. have like an existential crisis. Yeah. Who am I? What's your favorite movie? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> we have a few answers in the chat. A lot of different answers. Joshua says, I like to think I know a few things about fonts, but I don't know what a super family is. I think once you see the explanation, you're going to know what it is. Yes. And also that's, you're in the perfect stream in that case. So yes. yes. And we have a few people that have joined. Lisa, welcome. Helmet, welcome. Joshua, welcome. Carol, yeah. yes. All right, we're going to dive into Should today's topic. So, introduce Jake. Yes, we are finding the right font with super families. I guess not all of your right fonts are going to be super families, but a super family is a great place to start, I think. And so that's uh, why we're going to dive in. And please welcome Jake Yeltsoff to the Adobe Fonts Show. You're probably familiar with him from the last two episodes, filling in for Ari <laughs> uh, while she was away. So surprise, it's me again. Jake is back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the warm welcome. I'm very excited to be back. I am an experienced designer on the team, which um, for those of you who went in the last couple of episodes means that I get to think a lot about fonts. I get to play with them all the time. I get to try and figure out the best ways for people to, to find them and use them all across Adobe. So it's, you know, it's the perfect job, basically. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So what are super families, Jake? Yeah. Great question. I'm yeah, I'm loving these these responses in the chat. And everyone's kind of like, oh I, super super families. Uh yeah, maybe. Um and and yeah, you're it's like I think super family is it's kind of this like enigma. It's 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 a definitely a thing. Like it's it's a term, it's like a typographic term. But it's the the real meaning of it, it's kind of kind of loose and you know, kind of not you know, fully, like, you can't really pinpoint it. I think typically the meaning is it's it's a typeface that's made up of, you know, multiple different families with different styles, different typographic styles. So it might have a serif version. They might have a sans serif. I have a monospaced, for example. Um, but, you know, that, that, that could mean many different things. It could be, you know, that could be sometimes it's just almost like a more of a pairing, right? Like you have a sans version and a serif version and you can, you know, that's two, two different families technically. So together they become a super family. Another meaning though, you know, is kind of like, you know, maybe it's just a ginormous family, right? Like maybe it's, maybe they're all sans serif, but there's just like 200 different styles or whatever it is, right? There's no, I was trying to figure out, is there a line you can draw of like after 71, it becomes a super family or, and I don't think there really is. I think, I think, you know, it's, it's a very kind of loose term. And I think, I think, you know, effectively it's just got so many things in it that you have to call it super. You have to acknowledge how super it is. It's yeah. like a pile of sand, you know, like at what point, does adding one more granule of sand make it a pile? Who knows? But at some point you see it and you go, that's a pile. That's definitely a pile. So I think in my mind, it's when a family uh, goes above just weight differences. Like mm -hmm. you'll, you'll have, you could have a huge family that goes from a hairline weight to an ultra black. Um, and then if you then add widths like condensed, wide, mm -hmm. and then you add more, then I think that's what makes it a super family. Like just the weight for me doesn't take it there. Mm -hmm. And Ari, so. on that same point, if it was just the basic weights, but you had a sans and a serif, would you call that and a super family? That takes it, that makes that it also super does. for okay. me too. Cool. But nice. we should probably show some examples. Yeah, Jake. To see. Great idea. Really so talking. we're now sharing the Adobe Fonts website. For those of you who are not familiar, this is fonts.adobe.com forward slash fonts. 
Um, so, you know, this is where you can browse the root of our, our library. Um, and, you know, we don't really have, like, you know, as we've been talking about, super, super families aren't, you know, they're not a fully defined thing. So we don't have like a button that's like, give me a super family. Um, but there are a few ways that you can go about finding them. So one thing that we do have um, is this number of fonts in family slider. So if you were to drag this up, you can be like, okay, I only want to see big families, right? You know, so th these are going to give you some examples. So like Rock Grotesque, for example, has a bunch of different variations within it. Would it be classed as a super family? I don't know. That's that's kind of up to you. Whereas if we scroll down a little bit here, we can see input. And now we're already seeing two different versions of it straight away, input serif and input mono. Um, both of these are from DJR, David Jonathan Ross, one of our foundry partners. And also if I do a search here for input, I also know there's a sans version. So and you know, each of these have 56 these, fonts in them. Right. So that's so this yeah. <laughs> undeniably super. There is just so many different variations that you can use. Um, you can scroll forever and keep finding different options. And what I like about, about you know things like input is you, you can kind of think of this as its own little design system. Like you you don't have to worry about, you know, oh what fun am I gonna pair this with? Or Oh, what about if I have this scenario where I need something, you know, super small and I, you know, it's not going to fit in within the, the space that I have. All of those, you know, design questions kind of just have to like, go out the window. You don't need to worry about anything when you choose a super family because 99% of the time you're going to have enough range within all of these different styles to be able to, to find what you need. Um, so another little kind of shortcut, if you did want to browse a few more is, you know, typically, you know, because there's so many different styles within them, they will often name themselves, you know, input sans, input serif. So having, you know, serif in the name is kind of a clue that maybe there's also going to be another version, right? Because otherwise you would have just, the type designer would have just called it input and, you know, called it a day there. So another thing that you can do is, you know, search for the word sans or the word serif. And sometimes that's kind of a nice way to, you know, find your way through um, the library to see see if there are some more around. Um, we do have some favorite other ones though. There's a there's a few kind of larger, you know, classic super families that we have as well. Um, um, there's a link for freight, the freight collection, um, and uh, Annika also posted a link to input in the chat as well. Perfect. If you want to check out input. So yeah, freight is, you know, I, I don't think, you know, I think I'm very similar to Ari. I, I'm really bad at having favorites of anything. Like if anyone asks me like my favorite color or my favorite food, I'm just like, no. Um, but you know, freight is definitely up there. Top five, top five for sure. Um, and again, this is because there's just so, so many different styles that you can use, right? Like look at these numbers, 72, 24, 60, 20, like there is just hundreds of different styles that you have access to within this super family. Yeah. Uh, another another version or another super family that we have, which is you know this one is um, the Quest of Project. Um, this is this has been around yeah been around since twenty ten, um, but this one is another one of those just kind of classic pretty pretty well known at least within the type world the uh, kind of super family that has a bunch of different styles here. so you can see as you go down like you have you know, the, the regular serif version you have the sans you have the grande which is maybe the starbucks version no, i'm just joking this is <laughs> this is being used at, at large sizes right typically you know you might call it display or or a headline or something like that but it has little, the difference little finer the, details uh, yeah in it. Right, yeah, it's much more high contrast. Like if you look at the, the difference between the, the fix and the thins, you'll see that yeah, you're probably gonna want to use this big is is the idea. So hence hence grande in the name. And then a slab serif version as well. So you can see here we got those real chunky slab serifs, and this is more of a monolinear weight release. You can see everything's kind of there's like very low contrast here. Yeah. Lisa asked, 
What about if you have a font that doesn't belong to a super family and you want to search for fonts that could be combined visually? So mm. this is one of the things, this font pairing issue that a family like this can help with because you don't have to find fonts that pair with it in different styles. You just use everything in that family. Um, but Lisa, it is difficult sometimes, font pairing. And there's so many ways you could go with it. So what's your yeah, font advice? Pairings is, font pairings is, is a real tricky one. And I think it, it, you know, it really depends what you're trying to do. <laughs> it's, it's a terrible answer because it's, sometimes it's just nice to be told, pair it with this. Um, yeah. Which is, again, super families are great because, you know, you, you don't even have to think about that. Because, you know, sometimes you want to pair a heading with, with, some, with, with some body text. Sometimes you want to have, you know, things that are both kind of headings that you're, you're using equally, like maybe in a logo. Um, so there's no, there's no one size fits all, but one nice thing that we do have on the Fonts website is actually some pairing recommendations. So here I have Mrs. Eves, which is, you know, another classic um, typeface. So, and we have this, this feature where you can go view similar fonts and pairings, and that will scroll you down the page a little bit here. And here, you know, this top piece is, is similar fonts. And then beneath that, we have some pairing suggestions, which you can use. So, you know, these are meant to be a starting point, just as you ask, like, what, what fonts should I use? So if you come to our website, most of the fonts that we have available will have these little suggestions of, you know, places that you can get started. And it's, you know, it's not perfect. We only have the kind of the heading to body suggestions. Um, but within here, you can kind of see a few different choices of things that you, you might pet together. And if you hover over them, it's going to highlight which one is which. Kind of a cool little little thing. Um, but you know, while I'm on Mrs. Eve's, this is this is kind of a, a little side quest of super families. I don't even know if this is technically a super family, but one fun thing is Mrs. Eve's, the, the very classic font, has a, another one called Mr. Eve's, <laughs> um, which. You know, I don't, I don't know if you can even class this as a super family, but together, you know, they are. They're yeah, super I think families. you could. I mean, you know, there's, there's a marriage going on here, right? They're very complimentary. They're, so they're family through marriage. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I they weren't. That's... They're not brother and sister. They're married, so it's yeah. a little bit different. But yeah, you can see that some of the DNA. Oh, they don't share DNA because they're married, but. Some of the characteristics of Mrs. Eves, even though it's a serif, are shared with Mr. Eves so that the metrics, like the height of the, the X height of the letters, the spacing, mm -hmm. that can help pair them together. And right. that's why they are have the same name to help. Maybe with it's that. like, you know, the, the couples that kind of look like each other, like one of those things going on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, should we dive in and have a have a bit of a play with some of these? these yeah, so we're gonna families? we're gonna try something for the very first time here on the mm. Adobe Font Show. Both Jake and Ari are going to be making the same thing with the same fonts, but at the same time. So we they won't know what each other's doing. We're gonna see kind of where they both take it. But I think we're gonna be trying out Questa and also Freight for yes. a book cover and then also for a flyer birthday invitation type announcement. So we'll start and maybe see what Jake's doing. Ari's going to get started as well. We'll bounce back and forth between them and they can kind of talk us through what they're doing. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. There was that, there was a thing. I can't even remember what it was. It was like design tennis. Layer tennis. Yeah, layer, layer tennis. tennis. Oh. Yeah. That yeah. was in like 2010, 2012. Way back in the day. Yeah, this that is was totally from, like uh, Kudal Partners put that on. Ah, yeah. So yeah. we're going to use... Make, they make field notes. If you like field notes notebooks, that's Ooh. put out by Kudal and Layer Tennis. So, Okay, let's let's get started. Let's start this, this epic battle of the... So right now, families. you're seeing Jake's... Right now we're looking at Jake's. Screen. We're going to start yes. with Jake as he gets started. Ari's going to get started in the background working on the same thing. Mm -hmm. And we'll bounce back and forth. So a bit, I guess a bit more, let's, let's talk about what we've got going on here. So we're doing a, a book cover, like a book jacket design. I wrote, you know, maybe this is just, 
I so wrote a thriller people. novel just to bring everyone up to speed. Uh, obviously, yeah. I wrote it. And so, Sign of the Whispering Creek. I think it's going to be, it sounds pretty mis- scary. To mysterious, me. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, and we're also using Adobe, the Adobe Express beta. So um, if you want to try this out, you can go to new.express.adobe.com. Um, and one of the, the great things about the, the new beta version that we've, we've been working on is all of these text tools are just so easy to use. We've got the whole Adobe Fonts library right in here. So even if you've never used Questa, which is the, the super family that we are um, going to be using for this design, you can just type it right into uh, this little drop down for the fonts and it's, it's right there. So, you know, we've got all of these different versions. You know, I'm just going to pick one of them. Let's just pick the, the regular one to get started. Um, and then from there, it's all just super intuitive. Um, so I guess we want to think about what, what vibe we want to go for with this this uh, this jacket. That's, I think it's like an all question. It's going to have to be something pretty, pretty moody, pretty... Spooky, thriller, spooky, thrillery. Maybe not. What maybe not horror, that? but you know, horror adjacent. Yeah, it's hard to resist to the font recommendations. It really but, is. It's not, not part yeah. of this quest, but as you can see above above the font menu, we do have these recommendations, and it's these are actually kind of kind of nice and creepy. I'm going to just close this though, in case I get carried away and, and want to play with those. But if you're using let's... Express, though, feel free to use the font recommendations. We're going to focus on the super families now, but you do not need to do that if you don't want to. <laughs> yes, that's a good call. Out. Play with them as much as you like. Okay, so let's go. Okay, big title. We want to we want to use this this grande style, seeing as we are, you know, we're going to use this big. It's the name of the book. We want it want to stand out. We can choose the alignment. We can choose all the spacing options as well. So we can quickly change the, the line spacing, the letter spacing. Why don't we try and track that in a little bit, see if that helps. Oh, that's too much. When you track it in, it makes it look more like a 70s novel. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's totally right. With And, and all those, um, yeah, all the um, like Stephen King novels. Yeah, they have really tight serif titles. Yeah, mm. that's, totally, that's totally the right vibe for this as well. That's like the creepy thing going on. Maybe we can have some fun with the alignment here so we can, you know, play with this this descender and the ascenders here and tighten up that space even more. Woohoo, I like that. Okay, I think I've I've got my title in a good place. Do we want to switch to Ari, see what she's doing? Oh, yeah, let's go on we're going over to Ari. No pressure. No pressure. The battle's on. <laughs> I'm trying to do, I was trying to do slab, but I feel Ooh, like it good. looks much cheaper. This book is like. Wow. It looks uh, like more like a business book, I think, than a. Thriller. Yeah, it's not as creepy. But then I was thinking, oh, maybe I should start looking for images. Um. That could help us get started. Like a forest or something and see how, if it actually brings in a little bit of the vibe. This image is very wide. Yeah, we might have to darken it up too or something, make it a little... Moving the layer down. Scarier. Scarier. Yes. Well, for now, I'm going to see... So I can just change the, see if I want to change all these to white. Let's see what happens. And then change the image opacity, maybe add a darkening effect. So all I had to do was just go to darken, click on effect. I wonder if I used, so I'm in slab. If I actually went really light, lighter with it, even lighter. Because whispers are not as loud, so maybe the font shouldn't be as bold. Mm. Um, what if, 
Yeah, there's so many possibilities you could do with this. So Jake did it all left aligned. And he did it. Mine was just. I see simpler. there's some, some copying going on here. No, right? no, no. I changed it back. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, but I was thinking if it was, if it kind of took up more of the page. These testimonials are pretty big right now. Let's see. Move those. I mean, I did appreciate the the vote of confidence, but you know. Well, you got to think about it, right? Social proof is big in in the in the book buying world, right? If you have these like you know very well accredited people like Jay Giltsoff and Ariadne Ramadakis, like giving you these incredible reviews, you have to put those up front and center, right? Because people are going to be like, well, if Ari thinks this is incredible, I'm going to buy yes. it. Yes. My opinion is very valuable. In right, the, it's, it brings the, the world the, of novels. Right. This might be insane, but I wonder if <laughs> if every if every word was on its own line, would that look crazy? That's what I'm doing. Oh, nice. Oh, the of the. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Ooh. I, Just to I'm go like. like not that I'm peeking on what you're doing, but that looks. It looks a little. Well, if you make it like a bit bolder. Like maybe you keep keep whispering I, light, but you make everything else bold. Also, oh, I, I think I what think I like about it being on its own line is that it's kind of disjointed and and uncomfortable, which makes me. I think, feel like that's a, like like a common thing in book, to, like it takes up so much space of the like of the cover that it's like. Yeah, yeah, it is a common thing. Maybe it's um, hard with those smaller words, though. It's. I don't think I, I, don't think I like it. I'm getting distracted. No. Don't look at mine. Anywhere. Yeah, keep working on yours, Jake. We'll check in with you right now. You didn't see that coming, uh -oh. did you? I don't know. Okay, well, I've ended up going for it. I'm, I'm keeping going with the, these like 70s vibes, like the very tight, tight letter spacing. So um, to do that, you come into this uh, spacing options over here, line spacing and letter spacing. So you can choose, you know, you can... You could go crazy. That that wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, but if you bring it in just a touch, it's one of my definite favorite tips for headings or anything a bit, you know, anything you're using a little bit bigger. If you tighten that spacing in just a little bit, it often you know, really makes it pop, as as a client might say. Um, and then, especially using this kind of heavy, is it the the black weight of Quest of Sands? I don't know, I really like what's going on for Ben's name. I guess when I you like think that, about position. I like that W a people, lot also. Yeah, it's got a nice little kick going on in the middle. It's nice. And did you do something with these uh, call outs? Yes, yes. So I went for the slab and I went for the light italic because I was thinking, you know, quite often quotations are shown in in italics, it's you know it brings that like dy dynamism to the to the text. So we'll see. I, th I think I think it works okay. I think I need to figure out a bit more of how I want to do the layout though, right? Because you know typically you'd have well, I, I don't know. I'm not a, not a book designer personally, but you know I would often I read a lot of books. So I often expect you know the, the heading the title is going to be towards the top. The name is going to be somewhere in the bottom half um but sizing is an issue like how big do you go how how important is ben is ben is ben what's going to sell this book or is ben actually you know nobody knows who ben is is this so my first i think this is my small. first novel so i don't think anyone knows who i am yet. oh it's a debut okay yes, yeah debut. let's 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 keep ben small then okay sorry ben no no worries i mean this is the the reality of the situation it's, this is showbiz <laughs> this is showbiz <laughs> The creek is more important than Ben. At this point, yeah. Uh, also, you I've seen this at sometimes you have one one recommendation quote at the top and one at the bottom. Yeah, because right now it's kind of bottom heavy, isn't it? Right. That's a that's a great idea. Let's align all this to the middle. 
and yeah, since already. both you and Ari are on your third and second novels, you know. Something's kind of me to put it sideways, but it memory doesn't look. I like your instincts there, though. I think it's it's just so wide. I, I'm I'm really inspired by trying to get it, it flowing a bit more. I wonder if we can move things around. Oh, that's unfortunate. Doesn't quite work. Maybe like that. It's close. I think I'm going to. Going too wacky? Having too much fun with it. I don't know. I think it works. I think there's, yeah. This is, this has I just, I just want it to be a little bit bigger. I think that's the thing that I'm trying to get to happen. But it's... There we go. Uh, Annika asked uh, for both of you in a jacket design, uh, how many different font families would be too many? That's a great question. I think I think there is no too many um, of anything ever, but that's uh, my my own problem. So I don't know. I think that's you know that's a classic typography rule, right? Of like, don't use more than two fonts. Um, uh, I think I actually even have have this on my website. Um, I think there's a general less is more idea, but we've seen plenty of designs that use many fonts, and they look great. Yeah, here we go. Here's my here's my very solid opinion. Only use two fonts <laughs> is advice to ignore. Use as use as many fonts as you like. It's, yeah, there is no rules here. Um, I would but, say you know, I think there has to be a reason for it, though. Be, sorry, to get back on track. There has yeah. to be a, a reason for it, though, right? You, you need to you need to think about what's, you know, what the hierarchy is, what the, the re right? So, like, example, right? Like, we have the quotations that are in, in italics. The, the, the title is in this display font. The name is in bold. Um, there has to be a reason for using different things, and you have to think about the the hierarchy and the relationships between things, right? So here I have the two names being the same, the two quotes being the same, because it ties them together as well, even though they're all the way to the top and bottom, you know, there has to be a reason for using something else. Like if I really want to use another font, I can, but you know, at least have a reason for doing it. And Lisa said, hard to make many fonts look good together. And I think that is a super family to the rescue situation. Yeah. Or at exactly. least a great place to start is that if you're using a super family, it's going to be easier to make multiple fonts look cohesive than if you're just putting random fonts together. Right. Yeah. Because in this case, right, like, you know, all of these are are different, right? Like you're looking between these, like they're very different. But like if you were to even overlay them and like look at the the designs, you know, like the spacing and the sizing, right? They would they would match up pretty well. Like, I guess I can even do this, right? So here I have the the quest of Grande. Um, and if I change that to um, Quest of Sands, you know, like already you can see that like overlaid, change this color. It's it's pretty much you know it's it's they're sharing, um, they're sharing proportions of the letters, right? Within Whispering, you know, there's some there's some differences there, and that's because you know there's all these serifs going on, so you have to change the spacing. But you know, if you overlay these characters, you can see a lot pretty of pretty much. Yeah, similar. Yeah, they idea. share the same kind of skeleton, at least. Nice. Okay, I really need to find some some images to go with this. All right, I'm we're gonna Jake. You find some images. We're gonna check in with Ari. Oh, new background image. This is, I would say, kind of like a canyon, but <laughs> but still also looks like a creek from far away. It's not a creek. For sure. <laughs> yeah, this might be an enormous, this might be sign of the whispering enormous river. <laughs> but I liked it. I like it too. I That's what's I... most important. That's what's most important. No yeah. Although, if I, you like it. I don't think this is a bad thing, but I think this makes the book sound, seem a little bit more like a memoir rather than a uh, mystery novel. But I kind of like that. Yeah, I never said that mine was a mystery novel. That's true. You didn't. I think it's like um, someone 
Yeah, some memoir about someone that lived in what state does this kind of remind you of? Uh, Arizona. Looks like the Grand Canyon yeah. to me. Is it the Grand Canyon? I'm pretty I sure that's know. the Grand Canyon. Maybe within the canyon area, there's another part of it that has a Whispering Creek. Yeah, that makes sense. But um, I was trying to find an image that would help me with because of these words being all different sizes having them kind of go with the image so i was just playing around with making the title smaller and not having the title be at the very top what if i had it be in the middle so this image kind of guided me i think and the shape of the, yeah, the shape of the canyon kind of goes along with the words a little bit. Yeah. So. I was just playing around with that. God, every time I move this, it like jolts around. Sorry, everyone. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew is saying that Ari is better. This is. <gasps> We've got to vote for Ari's. Although Jake didn't have an image yet, so. Things could turn around really fast. Yeah, you, you you wait until I figure out. I know images do help. Yeah. Um. Another thing that was challenging for me is what do I do with the testimonials? Um, because they're kind of mine is long and my name is long. It's like this big block of text. It's kind of awkward, but that's what you have to do when people provide something to you and say, make a book cover and it has to say all this stuff. Right. Um, so chat, can you please tell me how I can make sure mine is better than Jake's? What else should I do? We're, we're going to check in on Jake's real quick. Yeah. Look at Jake's on. and then what can I do? Sign of the Whispering Creek. Uh, Annika says it's neck and neck now. Uh-oh. 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 So Jake's this... is definitely scarier, and mine is more like, wow, I want to know about this person's life. It's a memoir. Yeah. It, yeah, exactly. Like, what did they experience? Yeah, I went, I went all in on the, on the scary. This is giving me Riley Sager vibes, if anyone is. Uh... I don't know what that means, but I want to. <laughs> An author. I don't know what I'm trying to do anymore. I think you're trying to create a little more contrast between the. I really am. I wish this. I wish this image. Maybe this image isn't quite right. I wish it was a bit darker at the top and a bit lighter at the bottom. Which isn't helpful. Is there an effect that might help? Maybe a vignette. I already have an effect on it. Oh, so yeah. this this was a, a regular photo, and I added this this duotone effect. Which is... Looks like it go a bit more plate. Ooh, the red. Okay, that went down. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely a murder creek. <laughs> Annika oh. says you could add a gradient. Could add a gradient. I just I changed know. mine to a different font, and because it's a super family, it still went with everything else. Let's check so it. It's very cool. Okay, so you changed so from the, the slab, slab to, the, before. to the serif? The standard yeah, question. so standard. I changed it to the standard, and then everything else that's in the sands, I felt like it still Works. went with it, even though maybe this needs to be a lighter weight. That's looking yeah. good. I feel like it. it looks pretty good. I mean, it's simple. I think if I were to work on it more, I would remove the, make this image a little less busy, make it a little more stylized. Nice. I also just want to point out that you both went for Quest of Sands for my name. Different weights, but still Quest of Sands. And I think also mm. for both of your names. 
the same. So I mean, Sans is Sans. I feel like it's such a good one for a name, right? Because it's going to be super legible. Um, you know, it's it's not it's calling some attention, but not the most attention. So yeah, I think okay, we I need to move time. on. Yeah. Yeah, let's move on. So, Jake, anything more on this one before we move on? I'm going to call it down for now. We'll 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 review at the end. How about we have a vote at the end? We'll we'll look at them again. And if we have time, which, let's uh, do these next ones. Time. Let's okay. make sure it's time. Next is a okay, party. Next. Palm Springs Ooh. party. Woo! You're invited. Okay, and okay. now we're going to use the freight collection. Ari, you, you you should go first with this one. I. I want to work in in uh, your privacy to start. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> we're starting with Ari's. We know we're using freight collection, but there's lots in here to choose from. So I know it's a lot. So when I search freight, I get all of these options. So there's, oh my lord. Okay, there's, <laughs> there's so many. So. There's freight big, freight display, freight macro. Um, if I bring over, I just want to bring this over so you guys can revisit. We have the freight collection that has all of these like larger families, and then it shows them a little bit more broken down in um, Express. So I'm thinking that this Palm Springs party thing, I want to make it all caps, and then do something really compressed. So let's see, one of those really compressed ones like this, Ooh. and then a heavier weight. With that one, I can taste the champagne already. Ooh. <laughs> and then I want this to be italic. So how about freight display italic? Mm. Maybe it should be book italic. Let's see. This I'm going to put on two lines so I can make it a little bit bigger. And not so crowded. Nice. Um, so I'm just going to change all of these for now to freight display. Hmm. Maybe I should incorporate. The oh, there's so many choices. I know. Oh, so hard choice. This is this is the challenge of super families. Is you know you have to you have to make a choice. Yes. I'm Although easier, this easier to choose between super families than twenty five thousand fonts. So it's a start. <laughs> that's yes. true. That's true. That's narrowed down a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna use Sans for see you by the pool for now see what happens. Um, I feel like maybe this, someone could be saying, see you by the pool. Oh, maybe if I can find an image. image. Wow, that would be. So September 1st to 3rd, this party is two days long. It's a whole weekend. I, I guess I, so somebody oh. <clears throat> me forgot to forgot to put in the whole, it's a birthday party. It's so it's, it's a birthday party weekend away in palm springs we got a you know a big party house there's a pool what happens if i search palm springs Whoa. <laughs> you get a lot of palm palm trees what happens maybe i do like a background and i have a couple different images Ooh. Um, All right, background gonna, color. You keep going, Ari. We're going to check in with Jake. Okay. Oh, I see what you're going here. You went with the Neo, I think. 
I did. This is Freight Neo Condensed I've gone for. I guess I could even mix it up with some some of the non-condensed. Have I either like of you this. seen the movie Palm Springs with Andy Sandberg? Yes. It was such a good movie. It's a great movie. For all those who have not seen it, highly recommend it. It's really funny. You can think of it like a very funny modern Groundhog Day. Hmm. I like where this is headed, Jake. So what decisions have you made so far? Obviously, you have a background. Yeah, so I did. I did, I did exactly the same as Ari. I started by. I, I started with the image this time. I felt. I think I fell into the trap of going too deep just on the type last time, and, and that's usually how I think. I, I like to think of type first, but but this time, you know, I'm, I'm stretching myself, so I went with the image first, and I found this one of palm strings. It's uh, you know, we've got all the inflatables in the pool. We've got the nice mid-century architecture. We've got the palm trees. We've got the mountains. This is summing it all up. Um, then, yeah, I chose the Neo style because I really like this high contrast version of Freight. And what I've done is I've used the dynamic text layout, which is an option down here, and you can see on the left hand side, which takes it from, you know, we've got our normal text alignment options, or we can do the dynamic text, which will fill your little text box with that, you know, and you can kind of move it around, you know, so you could be like, what do I want to be? Is Should it be all? Or like this or like that um really useful yeah and then even within this so you can still control all the spacing so i can even tighten up the, the line spacing play with the letter spacing you can track it all out a bit oh that's kind of nice i do like things tracked even... out oh especially for all caps track it out every time track it out it's gonna look great look at this you can even control the tracking within the different lines and then i also went for that kind of two-tone so black and white text nice we got some love for that heading in the chat jake cool thank you all right we're gonna okay, bounce I'm pretty good about the top i think that's good we're gonna bounce back to ari as you wrap up the uh the rest oh new image <laughs> Uh -oh. New image. Um, I'm thinking there needs to be something in the middle. Yeah. What could it be? Like a flamingo talking? Playing to you by the pool. Yeah. I mean, could it be anything else? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to remove background on this flamingo. Oh, that's a great idea. And then it's going to be, I always like things to be kind of rotated. Sometimes I overdo it and everything's like this or that. And I have to correct it afterwards, <laughs> but I think it's cute for it to be kind of rotated. And look, the, Flamingo's um, legs and the palm trees, everything's like really thin, thin lines. And then we've got the thin lines in the font. We've got the, yeah, the thin palm tree trunks, the thin flamingo legs, the thin contrast letters. Everything looks tall good it's all very muted but then the speech i mean the i'm writing speech bubble so i was gonna say the flamingo is kind of funny so i'm wondering if it works or it's not gonna work we'll i think see. it works but you know i'm if just a, i'm just a, a novel i'm just a you know successful novelist <laughs> what I ben welch the acclaimed novelist and memoirist depending on who did the book cover? Yes. Now that you have your memoir about living in Arizona, I think you have to move to Arizona because that's where your memoir is based. Okay. I jumped the I'm gun. I'm not finding a speech bubble that looks good. 
for this. They're very quirky. Maybe that's not going to work. Oh, it's so hard when you don't have time and everyone's watching you. I still Speaking think of time, we, we, works. we really need to uh, get a move on. <laughs> yes. I'm wondering if I should have a different color for the text because it's very muted. Um, let's see. That's my next move. I, li I do so, like how much the flamingo stands out from the background. That's very nice. Do you think it should be bigger? Yes. <laughs> Wait, let me move it a little further down. Oh, yeah. Like dinosaur this... big. <laughs> <laughs> What about see you by the pool? Should it be? So I used freight Neo. Condensed. But I wonder if I should use freight Neo Pro. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't need to be. Well, that doesn't really make a difference, does it? it's not italic i think that's that might be better and someone said maybe some of the text could be flamingo pink maybe palm springs yes or party or both Who knows? let's see if we change the color here and then we use our eyedropper to get that perfect pink mm, needs to be the darker pink Mm, I don't know if that works. I don't like it as much as I thought I was going to like it. It made sense. We could do a little layer, layering of like shaded effect and see if we like make this black or make this um, a darker pink. Oh, give it a little more. Something like. Well, we need it not to snap. I have to. I need yeah, to examine this time. closely. Or use. Yeah, use. There we go. Ooh. Do we, do we have any, any more time? Do we, do we need to wrap this up? Okay, yeah. We, we need to wrap it up. Okay, let's see what you got, Jake. Oh, nice. I, I cheated. I have two versions now. I, I oh. couldn't decide. So. I made two different versions. They're, they're pretty similar, but I couldn't choose. Uh, I like the Neo one was the original one I went with, and then I found the. Uh, I like them both, but I'm going Neo. Um, Neo, okay, let's go Neo then. <laughs> I choose you, Ben. There we go. And then Ari. I mean, we're still kind no, of wrapping this up. No, don't look but, at me. But I, I like where you're headed with this. I like this uh, pink. I uh, realized that I need to do something about the palm trees in the background because they were kind of distracting a little in the way yeah but it's something like this nice okay so that was fantastic we should definitely do this again uh it was more really families fun. more back and forth i like this type battle it was good type tennis um jake i wanted to plug make type work jake recently put out a uh kind of a website community newsletter thing around type and there's already some great articles on the site and you can sign up for the newsletter at make, make type work so if you like this kind of stuff you should definitely check that out and jake if you want to say anything about that now would be the time check it out that's all i have to say you can, subscribe. you can subscribe like and subscribe and then uh follow us on behance this, as long, along with every other episode we've ever done, will be posted there, as well as future episodes will get announced there. So if you want to keep up to date with what we're talking about, that's the place. You can also message us there and let us know what you want to see on the show. We will respond. And then if you have ideas about Adobe Fonts, uh, the service, or what fonts you'd like to see, or anything else, go to adobefonts.uservoice.com and let us know there. Our team does check that on the regular. So that would be fantastic. 
Uh, Jake, yeah. thank you so much for joining us today and for telling us about super families. Ari, welcome back. Thank you. And thank you for battling thank it out you. with Jake. You, ha you both were such good sports. So we'll call, it a tie. We'll, we'll, we'll call it a tie and we'll definitely do this again. We'll see you in, see you by the pool in Palm Springs. See you by the pool, everybody. Bye. <laughs>